M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd just quickly show these two side by side. They're quite different looking, but they're very similar in how they function, in my opinion. The Yaesu FT5D is a C4FM digital radio, and the Kenwood THD74, and with the new 75 coming out, is a D-Star VHF UHF model. The thing that this one has got, the 74, it does receive the HF band CW, so that's a big plus for it. What I like about the FT5D is that it does everything so well. VHF, UHF, very wide banded. You can receive air band, has Bluetooth, GPS. They both have Bluetooth, GPS. They both have SD cards packed with functionality. The batteries are interchangeable on the FT5D with the 1D, 2D, 3D, which is pretty cool. So I really, I really rate these radios. The Kenwood D74, just DR mode, D star out of the box. And the way that it just, it can just search so many bands easily. If you go to the B band, we'll go F, go to B a minute. Come out of digital, go to single mode, then go B. And if you look here, look at this USB, we'll go through the modes. FM, DR, AM, LSB, USB. It's just, it's just amazing. You can see the the GPS is coming through, and we have an excellent GPS on this, on this one as well. You do need a lock. I use a GPS booster. I'm not sure if you can see that here. That's my little GPS booster. It boosts, it basically boosts my antenna, and it costs about ten pound to buy. The nice thing about the D74, you get this big, you know, full keypad where the FT5D is it's it's menu driven, but in a good way. You and they both have a broadcast radio. I mean, this thing is like a triple radio. Watch this if I can remember how to do it. It's F menu, go back, A dual, and then look, you've got like a triple radio, and, and that's receiving your new the news. You know, and how good is that? Uh, it does have a scope as well on it. It's quite a basic scope, if you ask me. Let's turn that off. See if I can remember how to turn the scope on. I, I think you've got to be in VFO mode. So we'll go back on this particular model. VFO mode. Let's try the scope now. F. Scope. Yeah, there's your scope. It's still very nice though. You, you know, if someone said to me, what's the best handheld you've got in this whole shack? I would, and I've got, as you know, many. Um, these two. I think these two. The, fit, the Icon 52 is very good. I've got the 52 and I do like it a lot. But these are the two I tend to pick up first. And they're the ones I have the most, the most fun with. Um, the Bluetooth on the 74 means you can actually program the, the, with the programming software and with some frequency control software via Bluetooth. You can send photographs using the MS18, RSM1A app, sending photographs with the 74 via Bluetooth. Now remember that the FT5D does send photographs messages and the APRS on both these radios is excellent. I was playing around with the APRS earlier on this one as well. Let's go to the B band. See if I can quickly turn it on. So we go APRS 144800. Yeah, it's turned on. You see the way it says A12, that means it's on. And we'll go to the B band on here. I did put it into a memory channel. To select memory, you press number two. And then turn to that. Now to turn on APRS, we just go, and we do have a lock there. We just go um, F5. No, let's get it right. APRS, F5. Let me just work out why we're not getting that a sec. Yeah, my mistake, because it, you know I set it to, to use APRS on the B band. It'll work now. So we go F. APRS, APRS 12 appears to beacon. We set it to manually beacon, although it will auto beacon. We just press beacon and see the, that that's the APRS received. If you want to look at that, we just go F and list and then enter. And there, that's what it's just received, D74. Let's try it the other way around. F, let's back out. F then beacon and anyway it just, it just transmitted there so that's it really GPS lock GPS lock excellent radios thanks for watching my channel 
seven three and we can look at the lists on here as well by going f five so see it says list there oh, we don't even have to press the f button we just press list then enter we can scroll to the right i think we'll leave these two radios at the end of this video just showing that information look at that how good is that? And if I was in range of the DigiPeter, one for four, 800 in the UK, 900 I think in the USA, you would actually show up on APRS FI as well. Bye for now, 7-3, all the best.